Hey everybody, I'm Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com, and this is our next Saturday with Stacy YouTube class number 467. That almost didn't happen. <laughs> I was taping the sneak peek to our Stamp It Up with Stampendous event that's going on right now. <laughs> and that's where you get $159.99 worth of stamps for $15.99. So that sale has started. But I was taping that and I could hear some creaks and cracks. And I, But I thought it was, I share a wall with some with somebody else I thought they, they were just like moving stuff around and the next thing I know I look up and I can see a 16 foot shelf starting to do this and all of a sudden things were coming off I don't know how I caught two snow globes but there were 10 snow globes up there there were um, books Pantone books everything it all came crashing down and I had to catch the shelf. It was, I'm telling you, my spidey senses were definitely working. So that's now fixed. And then Mr. SMS and James, the SMS guy, James had to somehow makeshift a new little something for me so I could tape. So let me tell you, this truly is MacGyvered. It is a two by six, a couple brackets, <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's a 18 inch two by six that they've got nailed in. They've got brackets on the top, brackets on the bottom. It's about 12 inches off my desk, and it is <laughs> it is what it. And they didn't even buy the wood. They asked. I think they went to Home Depot or Lowe's, and they said, "Hey, do you have any scraps?" <laughs> and they got this 18 inch two by six. So it's all working out fine. <laughs> Everything's just in a little different place than I'm used to. So. Hopefully I'm able to tilt down and move and everything just fine. But wow, <laughs> that 16 inch shelf and then nobody could hear me. I was pounding on the walls for like five minutes yelling, but it, nobody could hear me. Then they finally came in and they're like, ah! <laughs> so today, today I'm in my new little, well, I've got my new little setup going on and um, we've got winner, winner chicken dinner to talk to you about. We've got new products to bring to you. And these YouTube classes really are a teachable moment. They are meant to not only focus on and share new products by manufacturers, but it's also meant to show you how to use product you may already have in your crafty stash. I think it's super important to use what you own. I totally, I have said that from the very beginning years ago, use what you've got when you're out of whatever you have then if you want to come shop at scrapbooking made simple that would be amazing but don't just run out and buy another black ink because another manufacturer made another black ink if your black ink is working for you use it until it's done so i've got i've got product that you probably already have in your crafty stash i have got global launches for you today to use with that product you already have in your crafty stash and maybe it speaks to you and maybe it doesn't but at the very least hopefully you learn something new today that would be the most exciting thing for me is if you take away something from this class that you can then go incorporate in your crafting and your project making. So really excited about that. I have got a global release from Couture Creations and from the Crafters Workshop, but we're going to be using Hero Arts inks. We're going to be using foils. And yes, I was able to talk to Ozzy Andrew. Okay. We were able to bring in, I think, 12 colors of foil that we're able to offer at a value price. So the last time I did foils, they were, uh, we, we brought them in for two bucks. They were $2. We were getting rid of what we had currently in stock. And I hadn't really talked to Ozzy Andrew about that. And he's like, hey, wait, you're not going to carry our foil anymore? What, what, wait? And I said, well, it's too much for us. That many colors is just too much. And he said, well, we can take care of that. Let's pare it down. Let me give you the best 12 colors. And I said, but I already put it out at $2 a roll. And he said, okay, let's work on that too. 
You gotta give it up for a guy who's just not willing to, he, he's like, wait, what? You're getting rid of our foils? Oh no, let's have a conversation. So I was able to bring back 12 colors of Couture Creations foils. They retail for, gosh, I can't remember what they retail for, but they retail, I, I, I can't remember. 339, something like that. 399. Anyway, we have them out for um, because shipping is a little bit more now. I mean, I was selling off what we had. I think we have them out for a little over two dollars, two dollars and twenty-five cents, two dollars and thirty-five cents, something like that for a full roll of foil. And this is five inches by almost like 15, 16 feet of foil. But we're only going to do the 12 colors, and I only have so much. He sent over what he could and <laughs> So we'll continue with these 12 colors, but then I'll need to place another order and he'll need to ship it. I just want to let you know they're at a value price. This is the price they're going to be at and they're at a value, value price. All right, because you're going to need them to go with what he's globally launching. All right, so I have winner, winner chicken dinner to talk about. I've got two peeps from last week who posted a comment. Oh, also a warehouse sale update. So we are now more than halfway done with day one, which is April 22nd. Day one represents 80% of the orders. Do I know when the next warehouse sale is going to be? No, I have scheduled dates. I have dates blocked out, but I made a promise that we would not start another warehouse sale until every last order from this sales was sent out. And I was hoping to have it done sometime in October. We're still targeting that date. I'm thinking it's going to be later October than earlier October, but we're still trying to target for that date. So once day one is over, day two is less than day one and day three, four, five, and six are nothing. I mean, there's hardly any orders and then it gets bigger at the very end. So we are more than halfway through the very first day, which represents 80% of the orders. Hang tight. When you get your PayPal request, you can pay via any credit card or debit card. You can pay with your PayPal account. You can call us and pay us over the phone. And if you are worried about missing your invoice, please don't hesitate to call us and we can take payment over the phone. We are not giving an extended amount of time to pay for these orders. You've got three days, four days at the most, and then your orders will be canceled if they are not paid for. So if you have any concern about a pay later order, don't hesitate to give us a call, especially if you placed your order on April 22nd, because we're just, we're plowing right through them. So again, I know when I think I want the second warehouse sale to start and the product is already arriving for that sale, but I made a promise we would not do another one until this one was completely filled. And some people are like, well, why does it take so long? Well, there's a whole YouTube about that. <laughs> when you're getting something for a buck 99, we can't just stop everything we do to fill warehouse sale orders because the folks who made pie something from this sale, well, they didn't agree to a ships when it ships policy, but there's an entire YouTube. I'm just excited to say that we are moving along. I think all of you are seeing your orders come through. You know that it's being worked on when your order changes from payment received to awaiting fulfillment. That means it's time for your order to physically get hands on it and worked on. Okay, so let's talk winner, winner, chicken dinner, and then I'm gonna tilt on down because we have got oodles and oodles and oodles to do today. It's so good to be here, literally, as I'm watching that shelf. You can see my face. You can see my face during that quick YouTube going, oh my. <laughs> That's never a dull moment with me, ever. <laughs> All right, are you ready? We have two winner winners from last week. These are two lucky ladies who placed a comment below. The live chat doesn't count. Placed a comment below. SMS guy James approved your comment and then you were randomly selected to be a winner winner. Our first winner winner is Barbara Cooper. Hello, Barbara Cooper. How are you doing today? Congratulations. You are a winner winner chicken dinner. Wahoo, could you if that is you? Our second winner is Randy. Randy Hetland. Hello, Randy Hetland. How are you today? Is that you? 
If it is, I'm so excited for you. You have $25 in your online account to spend any way you want. So Barbara and Randy, you did exactly what you were supposed to do. You watched the YouTube, you posted a comment that was kind, it was approved, and you were selected. And you're probably going, ah! right now which is great I wish I I wish I could get videos of people when they heard their name announced as a winner winner chicken dinner you know did you call your spouse did you call your fur babies did you call your best friend on the phone did your best friend watch and call you on the phone it's just it's a great time so um, enjoy your winnings and it's already in your online account we need to do a winner winner chicken dinner dance for you are you ready you're a winner chicken dinner you're a winner chicken dinner wahoo cut you for you <laughs> i'm very happy for you both enjoy buy something that will make your heart happy compliments of scrapbooking made simple okay i'm going to tilt on down we're going to get started for today there's a siren it's early today that's <laughs> how you know it's an sms youtube I am right on the main street here in Canyon Country, California. We are right on Soledad Canyon Road. And that's just what it is. <laughs> All right, let's get started today. I'm gonna to tilt down and show you some samples. Ready? Down we go. Did I mention global launch? Oh, see, it's shaking. I'm gonna take a little time to get used to the camera setup, but we're gonna get it done. <laughs> Literally, it, it's a two by six <laughs> that everything's mounted to. God bless their pee picking hearts. Okay, I'm gonna tilt on down. Ready? Down we go. And let's zoom on in. Zoom, 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 zoom. Just gonna take me a little while to get used to it. <laughs> we might have to change things up a little bit here and there, but you know what? We'll figure it out because that's what crafters do. We figure it out. Okay, so first sample. Isn't that cute? What I really want you to pay attention to is the foiled outline on those flowers. Can you see that foiled outline on those flowers? Well, yay, right? So the words are part of the sentiment. Now you could also run it this way, but up to you. Love the foil on the flowers. Okay, so that's number one. Number two, do you see the foil? It's the filament inside the light bulbs. Oh, right? Oh, how do we do that? Mm hmm, mm hmm. Do you see the foil on the strings? here and on the word oh right see the foil on that word uh-huh uh-huh how do we do that <laughs> yes that's an awful laugh I know and then look at here oh do you see the beautiful foil pretty gorgeous huh now, how did we do that? It's inked, it's foiled. How did that happen? Oh, wait. <laughs> okay, I am going to start, actually, I think I might start with, I might start with that, that feather. Okay, so we have got a global launch from the Crafters Workshop, and these are their layering stencils. Now, their layering stencils are done differently than anybody else's. First off, okay, credit where credit is due. Love the front. The stencil is a full size. I don't know if it's an A4 or an eight and a half by 11, but you guys love the front artwork. You can clearly see what you're getting. You've got a beautiful image on there that people can see. You know, it's not often, I have to tilt up because I, I, I just, it's not often that I can say, hey, this, a manufacturer thought about this. Well done. I mean, it's, they're, they're easy, they're flat. The sample that you put on the front and how you've got the, the images really 
it's it's easy to see it's easy to understand you don't have to think too long to go oh I get this you know what you're buying oh my gosh so credit where credit is due to the crafters workshop well done Jamie and David and the team yay and we've got a global launch on it so let me tilt back down and zoom back in I just you know I think you that I think that you, you it's easy to tell a manufacturer what they don't do right it's easy to tell me what I don't do right but they also need to know when they knocked it out of the park so inside here is a stencil it's a layering stencil but it's not done in pieces it's one sheet everything you need is on that one sheet your first layer your second layer your third layer they've even given you and let me get a they've even given you I don't know if I can get it one two and three Mm, I can't get it up. Maybe if I just tap. So they've even given you numbers. One, two, and three. So you know the order. They've also given you a guide on the outside. Little perforated etched in guides for slimline size. I, I just, I love them. These are so easy to use and so effective. And this time, so we did their, we did their slim lines before. We've had their slim lines before. These are all new designs and I've got an A2. I've got A2 designs for you as well. Um, I'd like to thank Jamie and David for allowing me to help a little bit in the design of some of these and the concept of some of these because they didn't have to but they came to me and said all right what is it that you see what is it that you want for your customer and I was able to kind of give them my thoughts on how I would do the designing or how I would how I would lay them out and they were so receptive to that and for that I am so appreciative so what is a layering stencil? First off, I'm not going to poke holes in these. I'm not. I'm, it's easier just to move them along because we're not taking different stencils on and off. So I am going to tape my paper down and I am going to tape my stencil down. And I'm just going to do it with washi. A lot of people are taking and making their stencils with um, holes in them, which is great. We sell the silicone mat from Sizzix. I give you a couple uh, brads to go with it and allow you to create holes in that silicone mat so you can you can use stencils that have um, holes in it to layer them up to help align them with this one because it's all in one piece and not taking one off and putting one down and one off and putting one down could you do that sure you could just there's a space in between let's see if I can get I need my glasses on sorry guys there's a space in between. Okay, so here are the two guidelines. So you've got you've got a guideline all the way around each design, but there is a space in between that if you wanted to slice it to make them more uh, individual stencils and then put your holes in the top, you absolutely could do that. I'm just gonna play with them the way they are. And I'm gonna start super, super simple. So I've got all new designs. I don't need a piece that big. I've got all new designs and I kind of hand picked these and <laughs> with, with Jamie and David's help and then kind of worked on them with them to to get a, I, I think they're just amazing. Janie just said she does an amazing job. So what color do I want to do this in? Um, hmm. Maybe I do it in pinks and maybe blues 
and maybe some green. I don't know, let's give it a try, shall we? So I'm gonna do here in green. So I'm gonna grab my Hero ink. This is a Hero Arts Cube ink. You can use any dye-based ink that you want, whatever makes your heart happy. I'm gonna move these to the side because I'm right-handed. And I'm just gonna tap on into that ink. And then I can either have a scratch piece of paper next to me and tap a little off, or I can tap off on my craft mat. It really, really doesn't matter as long as I kind of get things going. And I'm just gonna color this in. Pretty simple. I've got my blending brush that has a green rubber band around it. These blending brushes are from Couture Creations. They come with little hats. I know everybody is doing their blending brushes where the brush is the color of the ink that you would use, but they don't come with the hats. I would rather put the little rubber bands around them and have my little hats to, to make sure that my brushes don't get damaged. Um, up to you, however you get your blending brushes, wherever you get your blending brushes, as long as you're happy with them, that's all that matters. Okay. So I think that's good. Easy peasy if I wanted to add um, maybe another color in there, a little darker color maybe. But no, I think it's, that way it's just not one color. There we go, I think that's good. All right, done. Doesn't get much simpler than that, right? This is stenciling made easy. Let's take it off and I can wipe it down real quick if that's what makes my heart happy and I can move on so that's stencil number one now all I have to do is move over to stencil number two and I literally just slide it over Line it up. Oh, I've got my tape stuck to me. That looks, that looks good. You shouldn't be seeing any of the green you just did come through. All I have to do is line it up. and be done. Now she's given you a couple words at the top and I want to make sure that I don't stencil those words. I'm not sure that that's what I want to put there so I'm just going to take and mask them off. There's the word joy and the word sore right there. I'm just going to mask them off just to be sure that I don't get any ink there. And now I think I'm going to take my hot pink. Let's do my pink 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 right That is, that is pink, that is ultra pink. Ooh, look at that color. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> that makes a girl's heart happy. And I'm leaving highs and lows. I don't want it to all be exactly the same pink. So some's gonna be, we'll have a little less saturation. So it'll be a little lighter pink. Some I'll go in and add a little darker pink, a little more saturation. And bam, just like that, we're done. And now all I have to do is move it over again 
and line it up. And again, I want everything that I've done already completely covered. I don't want to see any of the pink or any of the green. I want everything to be completely covered. All I have to do is line it up and call it done. And again, I'm not sure that I want the word soar right here, like soar, like flight. So I'm just gonna mask that off. And then let's grab, I want to see which blue I like. Hmm. Blue. This blue. Do I want tide pool? No, I think I want tide pool. So a little bit of ink on my blending brush. And now every place that I've already colored is masked off. So my colors are not going to blend into each other. They're not going to make mud. Love this stencil. And you just add as much color as dark as you want it or as light as you want it. You are in total control of the intensity of that color by how much you lay down. All right, I think that's good. And just like that, it's just that simple. And it's just one stencil and you're just going to move 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 until you're done let's do this one again and let's add a little bit more to it so i'm going to put this one aside because we're going to use it a little bit later and let's cut another sheet of paper Tape it on down. And let's bring stencil over. And they're in order, one, two, three, although she's got them etched. So you can see them. She's got them etched, so you know, one, two, three. Yay. <laughs> now, I don't know that it actually makes a difference if you go one, two, three, but... Okay, so I'm going to tape this one on down. And this one on down. And this time I'm going to change it up just a little bit. So what if I start with a, how about I start with maybe a moss green? And I do a moss green down here. And I'm gonna get it dark, 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 dark. I'm gonna just do tons of saturation. 
The more ink you put on, the more saturated the color. And then I'm just gonna wick it up. Just kind of wick it up a little bit. And then I might come back with that lime green color. Now I'm not changing my brush and I'm not cleaning my brush. My brush is a green brush, I'm using green, I'm just gonna go for it. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that limey, limey color just to fill in because I'm trying to create some shadow and some depth And I want that kind of ombre so it starts lighter at the top and gets darker to the bottom. That's really important to me. I want that look to it. So the darker my bottom gets, the lighter my top is going to look. So I could go back into that moss and even make it darker. The darker I get this bottom, it's going to make that light, that top look even lighter. So if you get too much ink up here, you're trying to do an ombre where you're going light to dark, a gradation of color. And you get a little too much, a little too dark up here. Come back down to your bottom and add it more color down to the bottom because that's going to counterbalance that top. I've done that. I've gotten too much. I've made it too dark at the top and then it, it doesn't have that beautiful ombre look. You come back and add more depth to the bottom to offset. Offset the color. And now hopefully you can see, again, I'm still trying to figure out my positioning with my camera and everything, but hopefully you can see that I've got number one done. And that was pretty darn easy peasy, right? Don't peel up my paper. Now all I have to do is move along. Oh, and here, well, I can pull up my paper. It's not gonna be the end of the world. So here you can see that I've gone super dark at the bottom and lighter and lighter at the top to give that gradation of color, adding depth perception to something that is flat. Paper is flat and I want to add it. I want to make it not look so flat. So then I'm going to line on up. That looks low. Let's start up here. There we go. That looks better. Line it up. Make sure that all the color of the green is hidden. You don't want to see any green coming through. And I think I'm going to be I think I'm going to be okay there. That looks good. Put my tape down. Put my tape down. And this time, I think I'm going to play with a little purple and a little soft pink. So I'm going to grab my pink brush. And I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to do a super light really nice light pink all over. I don't want my joy, so I'm going to cover that up so that way I don't accidentally stencil on that. And that's just called masking off. That's all that is, is masking off. Cover it up. You've now masked it off so that way you don't accidentally get the joy in there. And if you want the joy, that's fine. But by having them um, separated, it gives me the opportunity to put them anywhere I want. So just a really light pink.
And then I'm going to come back in with some purple. So a little grape jelly. And I'm just going to kind of go here, there, and everywhere. Kind of just going down the stem, down the center, that spine of the, of the feather, and just adding a little bit of grape jelly. And I'm going to leave it just like that. Is it blended perfectly? No. Do I want it blended perfectly? Well, wait till you see when I pull this off. Ooh. <laughs> it is blended perfectly. And all I did was go in right over the top. I just kind of went up the, the, the spine of the of my feather and now I've got my pinks towards the outside. I've got really rich, deep, beautiful purples down below. And I still have one more layer to go. So let's pull this one over and let's line it up. And remember, you shouldn't be able to see any of the colors you've already done. If you can see any of that green or any of that purple, any of those colors coming through, it's not lined up properly. You need them to all be hidden. Ooh, that's all hidden there. That looks pretty good to me. Oh yeah, that looks great. So I'm going to put this down and oh, I moved it, Stacy. I was so, oh, but it was already taped at the top, so I didn't move it that much. <laughs> and I think, I think I'm going to come in with some yellow. Wow, you're getting a lot of color in here. Yeah, why not? You can. That's the whole idea of layering stencils is that you can get oodles of different colors without making mud. That's the whole joy of them. I'm going to cover up my sore as in flying, not as an ouch. <laughs> And let's just do, oh, I think it's going to pull off the blue that I had from earlier, but that's okay. You know what? Yeah, it's going to pull the blue that I had earlier. Well, then we'll just change it up. No guts, no glory. And what am I working on? White paper. White paper, who doesn't have white paper? And it doesn't even have to be great white paper. You could practice with these on copy paper until you get the color combinations that you're happy with. All right, so it's kind of a bluey greeny because I didn't clean my stencil off well enough, but that's okay. No guts, no glory. Gonna add some of this corn flour to some of that bluey greeny. And I'm just adding color all the way down. So, this 
This is what we have. We started way over here with just doing the spine. Then we added some of the detail to the, the feather and then we finished it up here. And then we take it off and that's what we have. Talk about quick and simple and effective and easy. And yes, you can use almost any ink that makes your heart happy. Absolutely. So this, this one was done just color on color. Just three colors, bing, bang, boom. But here, I wanted to add depth and dimension by layering those colors and lightening them and blending them into different colors. So it's up to you. Straight color, easy peasy. This one is equally as easy, but you use a few more techniques, a few more colors, a few more tools in your arsenal by just blending them with a blending brush. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, let's put this one away. Let's move on. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so now I love this one. I already made a mess of my inks. I love this one. The lights hanging down. So clever. It's got celebrate and shine on as your sentiments. So let's do this one. This one is different because it is an A2 size. So instead of three layers, like we had with our slimline, we had three layers here. One, two, three. With our A2 size, well, an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper makes up four A2 size card fronts or an A2 size card base. So we've got one, two, three, four. And she's done the same thing. Jamie has so kindly and so smartly, I don't know if I can get it. One, two, three, I need some stays on, four. So I don't know if I can get them up for you to see, but she has numbered. One, two, three, four. And she has given you a little outline. Now the outline that is put in there is a, for like a mat for an A2 size card. So it's a little bit smaller than an A2 because she wanted you to have room to be able to mat behind it and not take up the whole card front. She's given you shine on and celebrate that you can use here, you can use there, you can use those anywhere. So let's take this one and let's try this one. Let me tape my paper down. <laughs> oh, this one's done. So let's tape my paper down. Knowing that I'm going to be moving the stencil. and then my stencil. And I'm going to start with number one. So I can put this anywhere I want on my paper. I can put it anywhere I want. I've got a big enough piece of paper below that it doesn't matter where I put it. I want to line it all the way up at the top. 
right there. I can do that. And I'm just going to tape it down. Let's tape it a slightly different place. That way if I pull it up, I don't pull my paper too. And I think that's good. So I don't want my celebrate yet. I'm just going to take it, take some post-it notes, and mask right off of it. And I think I'm going to do these in a gray. So let's grab my black. And let's get a soft gray. Is that what I want? I think that's what I want. And I'm just going to do these in a soft gray. So this is just a wash, rinse, and repeat. I'm just going to go over my stencil with my gray until I'm happy with what I've got. And I can make a little, a few of them a little darker gray and a few of them a little lighter gray. And I want to make sure I've got all of the little cords that hang off of them. And done. Now I can take it up. And done. Can you see? This was not hard at all. Then I moved to my next stencil and I line it on up. So all the way over. And I don't want to see any of that gray. All that gray masked off. And I think I'm going to do these in a yellow. So I'm going to take, and I'm going to clean off my yellow brush. I'm a little worried it's got some blue in it. Ooh, I hope that doesn't shake too much. You'll have to let me know, is my camera shaking? I don't think it should be, but I always worry. All right, so I've cleaned off my yellow brush, and I'm going to go in there. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to add some yellow to my filaments. And this is like done. How easy was that? Fast, huh? Put my lid on my yellow. That's all it takes right there. I'm done with that one. And can you see where I'm at? Now I take my next my next stencil, number three, and let's line it on up. So now I don't want to see any of the yellow or any of the gray that I've already done. I don't see any yellow or gray popping through. And let's put it on down. 
And let's grab this one from the top and put it on the side. And I've got that one on the side and we're good. And what color should we make the bulbs? Should we give them a tinge of tinge of blue maybe? A little bit of red? Hmm. Okay, decisions, decisions. Help me decide. What color should we make the bulbs? Hmm. Red, pale tomato. All right, let's go with pale tomato. And red. And again, light and soft. I don't want everything to be the exact same saturation of my pale tomato. I want some of them to be a little darker and some of them to be a little lighter. And really, that's all it takes. Done. Look at that. Now the last one I have are the cute little, the cute little string lights. And I need to line them up so that they don't overlap any of my other colors. I am going to grab, because they gave it to me, the sample. So if I'm having trouble figuring out the orientation, all I have to do, they gave you a beautiful sample to do it with. So that one's going to go right there. Look at that. And then it just lines up perfectly. Well, yay. Yay for me. All right, done. Look at that. Whoa, who could shoe? And again, I don't want my shine on, especially not there. So I'm just going to cover it up like it doesn't even happen. And then what color do I want? My little, my little strings to be. Um, do I want them to be yellow too? Or gray? How about in the yellow? Now it's up to me to decide where and when I want a sentiment. So this is where I'm at. Super cute, super easy. And now it's up to me where I want a sentiment. She left you room right here for a sentiment. And you can do that sentiment directly onto your paper or you can take it and put it on another sheet of paper. And mat it. So I like the shine on. So 
So in their example, they took it and matted it onto a separate piece of paper and then put it on. I'm just going to put it straight onto my, my front. And I'm going to take my black, I think, or my gray, and do my shine on in the gray. And I'm just going to go right over some of these other parts that I've stenciled. Now I don't care if I'm going outside and down because I'm going to cut all that away. All right, let's see what we got. Now I'm going to cut all of that off so you're never going to see it. But how cute and easy was that? And we're going to take these and we're going to dress these up so that they're even more than what we started with. I think I'm going to do one more and I'm going to do it super, super quick. Hmm. Maybe I do Maybe I do this one. And I'm going to try and go super quick with it. And remember, if you ever have a concern or a doubt, they've given you a beautiful image right there. You can just copy right along, follow right along. They've given you the, the layering. Although on some of these, you could layer them in almost any, almost any way you wanted. So let's take a piece of paper. And I'm using bigger paper than necessary. In fact, I can probably even cut some of that off. You can definitely cut it down. So let's do that. Let's cut it down to the size that, of the matting that they have. So I'm going to cut it to the size of what she has gridded out for you and tape that down. So hopefully I come close. Wish me luck. Okay, so there's one. And then let's cut off the bottom. So this is about the size that fits right behind the stencil. I'm pretty close. So she's given you those grids and I cut my paper to that size of that grid. So I'm going to make sure that that corner is lined up. I'm going to tape it down. That's the only size paper I'm going to use is just that size. Tape it on down. 
one. Two. I'm going to line up my corner here. Oh, don't stick. So I'm going to find that grid right there by the number one. That looks pretty good. And one, one. I'm not gonna wanna use the love you right now. There's a love you right now. Oh, I am very close to the bottom though. Okay, well, let's go close to the bottom. What's the worst that can happen? It's white paper. And I've got my wheelbarrow right here, and I guess I'll do that maybe in a soft brown. So I'm refreshing my brushes. So I haven't used my brown for a while. brown looks good. Probably could have used a little darker brown. What if I throw a little bit of gray on top of that just to add a little bit? I'm not even going to put any color on here. I'm just going to go straight from here just to make it a little darker. Okay, done. Good enough for me. Oh, and I've got my little I've got two little, two little dragonflies up there. Um, how about a little bit of purple? And a little bit of maybe green. And maybe just a hair bit of pink. There, dragonfly's done. Didn't even have to open up an ink. All right. So I've got number one done. Now I'm gonna line up number two. And I'm just gonna match that corner to corner. And look at that. Lines up perfectly. So I just matched my corner to my corner. Looked for my little grid that she gave you. Lines up perfectly. No fuss, no muss, easy peasy, mac and cheesy. Put that down. And where'd my other one go? Right here. This time I'm going to put it on this side. And it's got a hello right there. I don't want to see that. So I'm going to mask that off. And this looks to be all greenery. So let's grab my green. And I'm going to start with my lime, or maybe my green hills. Let's start with some green hills. That's the name of the ink. And I'm going to just super soft, easy peasy. Not a lot of, I'm not pressing hard. I'm just going in and adding the color. So I'm trying to keep that saturation a little bit light because then I can go back in maybe with a little bit of my moss. And every now and then, add a little bit of depth of color. Just so everything doesn't look like everything else. I want some highs, I want some lows.
Okay, I think that's good. We're going to see. Pull up. Oh, now I've got my color going. Come on over. Line up my corner here with my corner here. So this is number, oh, let's see if I can get it. This is number three. I'm going to line up the corner of my paper right there with that little guide, that little corner right there. Ready? I can already tell you it's going to be pretty. <laughs> there. Line it up. And when you do that and you line it up, it instantly covers all the, the color that you had already done. You might want to have your little paper handy, your little washi tapes handy. Oh, I moved it. Okay, let's just move it back, line up my corner. Hello, corner, where are you? There you are. Line up my, oops, Stacy. Line up my corner. There we go. So I got my corner perfectly lined up. I put a little ink on it so I could see it. Can you see that? I put a little ink so now I can see my three really easily and I can see my corner. Okay, let's see what color do I want to use. How about I go in super soft with some pink, like super soft, like. I didn't even even put any on here. Pink. And then how about I go in with my blue and I use some corn flour. Hello, blue corn flour. Oh, there you are. go in some places I get it a little darker some places I leave almost all pink oh I forgot to cover my happy day darn it well we're gonna make happy day happy day <laughs> let's do that with this blue Darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. Okay, but nope, I'm not gonna because I'm gonna come through with that. Nope. See, I didn't cover it up. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Well, it's not too bad. Okay, here's where we're at so far. So I can lift it and put it back down because I'm lining up by the corner. I can lift it and show it to you and then put it back down because I'm lining up by the corner. Okay, so this is number four. Let me go back just a little bit. Bring it down maybe just a little bit. Maybe not that far down. And then let's line it up. And here. My corner is right there. So now I can better see where my corner is to line it right on up. Covers everything. So let me lift the whole thing up. Can you see this last stencil is more of a mask than anything else? It covers everything up because that's going to let me do my little sun rays. Yay. So let's put this one back down. You can have these done so fast. You get into a groove and you just go. Corner. Hello, corner. Okay, tape down. 
and tape down. And this is my sun rays, so let's grab some yellow. And crazy soft. Crazy soft. And then I might even come back and add a little bit of soft apricot on top. So my yellow is coming down through my sun rays. My orange, I'm going to grab some soft apricot and I'm going to work from the top down. Kind of, kind of pulling that color down. See how I'm, I'm not doing this. I'm kind of pulling that color down into the yellow. And that yellow again, just to blend everything together and done. So if I wasn't teaching, this would take me about maybe two, three minutes to do. Right? Easy, beautiful, effective. One sheet and the price. Holy smokes, artichokes. The price is insane for a four layer stencil. Oh my gosh, they're, is it, is it? They're somewhere in the $6 range on sale for four layers. I wanna say they're somewhere high $6, maybe almost $7, somewhere in that range for four. Four stencils, layering. Layering. <laughs> you pay that much for almost one stencil that doesn't layer at all. The Crafters Workshop has done an amazing job with these. Amazing. And I'm so grateful that they let me kind of help <laughs> and say, oh, I like this, but gosh, I wish you had that. And oh, could we number them? And oh, I mean, they, they, they took they took what I had to say, they quizzed me a little bit, and then they implemented all the things that I would have wanted to do if they were my stencils. And there's many of them. Look at this. I, Gosh, I think we have seven maybe, seven new stencils between Slimline and A2. And, and the fact that they have the front cover with the image, with the colored copies of the stencils, well done. Well done. Okay, so... I've stenciled a few things for you, right? We've played with the stencils. Now it's time to move on. So we're gonna play with these that I've done already because now it's time to move on. I have made a lovely creative mess over here, but hey, if it's not a creative mess, then it wasn't creative. You. You got time to clean it up when you're all done, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna push those out of the way and I'm gonna bring over my next thing to show you. Okay, so from Aussie Andrew, we have a brand new hot foil pen. So a brand new hot foil pen. Wasn't sure about this in the beginning. It's run with the, uh, uh, <laughs> oh my gosh, my brain is having a meltdown. UPC, uh, uh, you know, a plug into your computer, USB. Oh, that took everything on me to get that out. A USB. <laughs> oh, 
Another fire truck. Ooh, big ones. Hmm. We'll see if there's more fire trucks. If there are, I might I might just take a moment and see what's going on outside. So um, this is run off a USB port and any computer, laptop, anything you have that you can plug a USB into, you're gonna be able to run this. So no batteries required. It comes with four nibs, four nibs to begin with and a roll of foil so that you can get started. Now, Ozzy Andrew had this really great idea. He thought, okay, you're gonna, people are gonna use this and they're going to, um, I'm gonna need this one. Let me pull what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need these three because these are the ones I used. Ozzy Andrew had this really great idea, really thinking that people would then use this to like write names or, uh, you know, dots or dashes or, and I saw this and I took it in a completely different direction. Now we have, I've got it here. It has a little on and off. So there it's off. That makes me worried. Now it's red. Red means it's heating up. And when it goes green, then you know it's good. To change the nibs, and the nibs are small, teeny tiny. You know, it really makes me nervous. That's a lot of fire trucks in a little time. Um, okay, well, I don't see anything on my phone and I'm sorry, it just, it really, my community is very important to me and so I'm just going to keep it kind of handy for me to watch. Um, four nibs, one of them's already in and they're teeny, tiny, thin. I mean thin. Now I know somebody else does a foil pin. I don't remember who. It could be it could be we are. And I think their nibs are sold separately. Um Ozzy Andrew has included them. So you've got three sizes that are um like a bullet point, and then you've got one that's like a chisel, and it comes with them. You don't have to buy your nibs separately. Now He's retail, I think these retail for somewhere over $40. We're going to do them for $29.99. I want to say maybe they're $43 or $44.99. We're just going to do them for $29.99. And that way, if it's something that makes your heart happy, you can absolutely take advantage of. Ooh, hot, getting warm. So eventually my, my red is going to go green and that's going to tell you it's good to use. Now I've had this heating up for quite a while. So my guess is it's already good to use. I'm going to put this over there for right now and I'm not going to lose my nibs. And then we are going to take back some of what we've just stenciled. So what if I took the first one I started with and I put it down and I grab some washi tape. I'm going to cut a little off the top. And just tape it into place. Then I'm going to grab that stencil. And I'm going to decide what I want to foil. And I'm going to line it up. Oh, look at number two lines right up on that pink beautifully. I don't want to see any white. That looks great. Tape it on down. Just at the top. Just at the top. So I've made a hinge. 
going back a little bit. That makes a hinge. What am I gonna do next? I'm gonna pick a color of foil that makes my heart happy. How about we do, how about we do some gold? Now, not all foils are going to work. The Crafters Workshop has come out with their foil. They do have foils, but those are for a laminator. And Crafters Workshop foils won't work on this, nor will the Thermoweb foils. This has to be um, from a, what do we call it, a heat transfer? Um, yes, heat activated foil, whereas the others are a laminator toner based foil. So you would have a piece of paper, you print something off of your uh, laser printer, that's a toner based, and then you could run it through a laminator with foil in it and would transfer the foil. That is not the same as this. This is different. It's a heat activated foil. So if you are using a glimmer machine from Spellbinders, this foil works perfect with it. In fact, the glimmer foil and the Aussie Andrew foil come from the same factory. It's not that it's kind of the same. It is the same. So I've got Aussie Andrew's foil at like, I don't know, $2.50, $2.25, and we're only gonna be carrying 12 colors, but we're gonna keep it at that price. Now, he doesn't have a lot of foil available. We Like some colors, we only have 100 of because he has to wait till he gets his next shipment in. So just know that if you're using a glimmer machine or a go press and foil machine, this foil is gonna work perfectly. It is not a toner based foil. So let me tilt on down. And if you've got that glimmer foil, well, you've got the same. This is the same. Save money where you can save money. So you have money to spend on things that are going to be more expensive that you can't save on. Now I'm going to take my foil and I'm going to lift up my, my stencil and I'm just going to lay my foil down. And then Oh, I'm green. Green is good. I don't know, can you see the green? Green is good. Then I'm gonna take my foil pen and I'm gonna go in there and anywhere I want to foil, I'm going to just take my pen and use it. So right inside the stencil. Is it going to melt your stencil? No. And I'm, I didn't even tape my foil down. So I did there. And let's do this one. And then maybe let's do a few over here. Now I like to use the smallest nib. It just makes things easier. And I can do up here. And I'm not doing every one of them. I'm doing a few. And the beautiful thing is I can lift up my hinge. I can pull back and I can see if I've got it foiled where I want it. And if not, if I need to add more foil, I just push my hinge back down put my foil underneath and keep going. It's just that simple. Easy to do. I want that one a little bit better, but I'll be fine. 
So let's take and add some foil down here. We want to add some there. Make sure I line up. I do. Here, move my foil, and I've got polka dots right here. I've got polka dots right here. I can go in. Now I don't want to do all of them because I inked them pink. I'm going to leave some of them pink and make some of them gold. And you just draw them in. You just draw them in with the heat tool. Pull up, and now I've got pink on there, or gold on there. If I wanted to change my color, maybe I want some gold over here. Maybe I want to do the insides of these. And I'm just following along the stencil. No free handing. Could if you wanted to. But I'm just coloring it in. And if I have a bigger space and I want to use a bigger nib, I can. Okay, so here's where I'm at. Can you see I've been able to add gold in just certain places? But then I can take a different color. So I've lifted this up. That means I'm going to have to re-line up my hinge, but I could do a different color. What if I came in with some purple? And it doesn't take much. So if you've got little scraps of foil that you are not willing to get rid of, you just weren't sure what you were going to do with them, this is your answer. So I'm going to take my little... And I can move it over. Let's do, let's do number three. Let's do stencil number three. And let's put some purple on that blue. Wow, that lined up really simple. So let's take and do, let's take and do some of these lines up here. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do some of these lines right there. And I'm just gonna take my foil pen And I didn't even tape my foil down. Okay. And now I've added purple there. And maybe I want to add purple to some of my dots right there. So I'm going to come in and just almost like you're just, it's like almost like a rub on. You're transferring that foil like you would transfer a rub on. Only you're using heat to do it as opposed to a popsicle stick. <laughs> do we all remember rub ons and popsicle sticks? <laughs>
a super way to add detail. Ooh, I like that. And let's see, what else can I do in this one? Oh, I moved it. Okay. Um, maybe we trace this one out in foil. And I'm just using the same piece over and over again. So maybe I go in there and I go in there and I do this one. And if it's a little off center, then it makes it look like it has a shadow. And I've still got foil left. I mean, I'm using this teeny little piece. Make sure I line it up. My hinge is not so great. I don't have my hinge down as good as I could have, but that's okay. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe we come back with some of the gold and do this in some of the gold. these in gold. So I find this to be unbelievably relaxing. Not exactly sure why I do, but it's just, it's kind of like the dot and do's only this is so simple. Take any stencil you have, any stencil, and now add spot finishes to it. This is me just playing. Could I take green and add green? Sure, why not? Let's come here. Grab my washi tape, let's put it down again. Grab my stencil. Line it up with my green. Look at that, perfect. Make a Wahoo, look at that. Happy day for me. Let's grab some green. And I mean, just a little bit's gonna go a really long way. So all those scraps that you've got sitting around, little snippets of foil that you just could not bring yourself to get rid of, now you know what to do with them. I'm still green. Ooh, I did that one all green. Ooh, let's do this one over here. I'm gonna do it all green. Gosh, you could take this and you could just foil the whole thing. Let's do the top one up here.
Okay. Now I've added foils to my greens. So you take a stencil that's beautiful, but then you add a little something more to it. Let's take the light bulb. Can cut the light bulb down a little bit. I don't need it to be this big. Okay, so you're gonna have to give me just a minute. If you can hold on for just a second, I have to make sure everything's okay. There's been a lot of fire trucks, a lot of sirens, and um, I don't edit my videos. Um, but I'm just going to call one minute, please. Hi, Stacy. Hey, hey, you, I am still on camera. So, um, you are currently on the YouTube. Is everything, okay. is everything okay out there? There's a lot of sirens. There's okay. There's no fire, no fire. Yeah, yeah, the fire runs. No, it's not near us. Stacy's calling. She's on the still on the video camera, asking we're okay if we're okay because there's a lot of sirens. We're good. So, so yeah, we're good. Okay, but but, but do you know what the sirens are? We don't know. We, unfortunately, we don't know because the yeah, we don't know what it is right now. I I can check. Yeah, if you. Right now, if you guys okay. can just don't call me back all, as long as it's there's no like immediate danger, right? Yeah, yeah. Nope, not that we know of. Okay. Good. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. I'll thank be down you. in a bit. Yep. Bye. Okay. Bye. Sorry. I had to be sure. <laughs> I know it's weird for somebody to stop in the middle of teaching a class, but um but it's important to me and um no, I'm not sorry at all, actually. <laughs> so if you're still with me, thank you for being with me and if you just don't understand that's okay too. I, I value my community. I value my employees and my family. And well, they are my family. So as long as everything, as long as everybody's okay, then I'm okay. But that's a lot of sirens. Okay. So back to what we were doing. <laughs> Momentary pause is over with. Yeah. Sorry. Not sorry. No. <laughs> Isn't there a song like that? Sorry, not sorry. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so let's do our lights because these are going to be beautiful. Let me tape this down somewhere here and here. Let me make a hinge. Let me line these up. And there. Let's just make a little hinge here and there. Let's grab some gold. I've got gold right here. And the way I like to do it is I like to leave some of it, even though I'm going to do all of these gold, I like to leave some of the um, some of it visible so I'm sure that I'm lined up properly. So I've covered part of my filament in gold, but I've left these just the paper just to make sure that I'm lined up well. I'll move the gold over once I'm done with these. I'm still green. Green is good. And all I have to do is come in here and go zoop. And I'm using the finest nib 
that Ozzy Andrew has given you with his foil pin. Now, when I asked Ozzy Andrew, what are you supposed to do with these? I already knew what I wanted to do with them. And he's like, well, people just use them to write with. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, but wait, there's so much more. <laughs> I have so many thoughts and ideas for this pin. And I'm just, wherever my stencil is, I'm just taking my foiling pin and just going along the lines. Changes how you look at your stencils 100%. And I'm just going along the lines. I'm just following the stencil, letting the stencil do all the work. You don't even have to worry about staying in the lines because, well, you just, it just does all the work for you. Okay, so I think that those are all done. Lift up. Oh, they've got gold foil on them now. <laughs> that makes my heart happy. I moved. Okay, line back up. And let's move my my little gold right over here. And then I can just finish these up. Oh, I need it up top there. So I need it for these three. Okay. And I'm just going to go in there. And... Any place there's an opening, I'm just going to put my, my little stylus there. And it's just going to add that touch of foil, just a touch of shimmer, just a touch of, of shine without it being too much. Are you pulling out your stencils going, hmm? Do you already have a foiling pen? Maybe you do. Had you thought about using it with your stencils? Hmm. So now I added just a glint of shine. Just a glint of little foil just to make those filaments come right on out. And I could do the whole thing. I could go in there. But look at how cute is it. That's amazing to me. <laughs> oh, I know what I can do. Okay, so let's get a bigger piece of gold because I need a bigger piece. Oh, I know what I can do. So I'm gonna cut a bigger piece, but I'm not gonna throw this piece away because as long as there's foil on it that hasn't been used, well, there's foil on it that hasn't been used. So let me line this back up. Move these out of my way. Nope. Don't stick to each other. I've got to be better about putting it down and not having that washi tape stick up. Okay, yeah? So let's move. Oh, let's do those. Line it up so all I see are my yellow dots. Make my hinge. Go back a little bit so you can, oh, that's front. So I made a little hinge up here. Take my gold. And have at it. And because I'm using the finest stylus 
it fits in there just fine. Now the stylus does get a little warm. Down here it's a little hotter than, it's not bad, you can see I'm holding it. Um, can kids use these? I think they can. I think you can absolutely let a child nine or older, eight or older use these. I mean, it doesn't get, what does get hot is that little stylus, so you don't want them to touch the nib. But I think they'd be fine. Okay, okay, stinking cute. So I haven't done the one up here. The top one still is just, but when you move it, look at it. it looks like it's winking at you. <laughs> that is a happy day. Absolutely. Gosh, I could come in here with this one and I could I could do the grass and the, maybe the dragonflies. So let's take this one on down. All you're trying to do is add a little extra something, something. And let's take the grass. And line it up. Ooh. Let's make a hinge. Right at the top. Let's grab some green. And this one's pretty used. Let's grab another piece of green. So I'm all lined up. I see no white. And just every here and there. I might just even do just like an outline of them. Just do some outlines on one side. Don't want to do too much. Just add some sparkle and some shine. I don't know if you can see it. I just did a little bit on just some of the edges. Just some of the edges, just to give it a little sparkle, a little shine. I could go back there and I could do more. I could take and do, um, so let's line it back up. I could take and do my Right there, make my hinge, uh, grab some gold, where that's the gold that I was using earlier. Lay it down. And just 
do like the straight lines. of the sun ray. Just doing the straight lines of that sun ray. Don't know what we're going to get. I'm just doing the straight lines of the sun ray. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's a Wahoo Kachu. <laughs> look at the detail you can get. Wow. Just did the straight lines. Why oh, didn't do these up here? <gasps> and I didn't do that one down there. Okay, you get what I'm doing though. <laughs> That looks amazing. And it just kind of winks at you when you move them. Fun, fun, fun. <laughs> can you do it with black paper? Of course you can, you're on foil. Sure you can. Um, let's see. Let's see how well I do these. Time will tell. Um, let's grab the gold because I have a little gold left and I just grabbed a big sheet of paper. So, all right, well, I won't use a big sheet of paper. I can already hear you guys. Don't use that big sheet of paper for that. I can hear you. <laughs> See, and there's more sirens. Just makes me nervous, but that's okay. I called downstairs. They said, well, everybody's okay. They think there's nothing major. So love you. What do we want love you in? Do we want love you in red? Probably be helpful if I taped my paper down. Then put my foil where my love you is. And then my stylus. I'm still green. And I can just come in here and trace my letters. Now for the letters, I'm going to tell you practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. So you may want to take some scrap foil and your stencils and just play with your letters a little bit. And then let's try the U, see what I get. So because of the font that we're using, it's narrow in some areas and wider in others. So I'm just using the narrowest stylus.
All right, let's see what we get. Practice makes perfect. I did it. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> and it looks so good. And there's, n look at that. Ready to cut and mat. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this one over here. Let's do hello. Is it me you are looking for? I'm telling you, I'm still nervous, but they say everything's okay. Something's definitely happening. Last time it was a major brush fire at Castaic. And Claire, SMS girl Claire, had to leave and getting her in and out every day was, oh my gosh, almost impossible. Let's just move it on over. So now I'm doing hello in gold. Can you do it on white paper? Of course you can. I've been doing it on white paper all day long, but I thought I'd show you how good it looks on the black too. Okay, have you pulled out all of your stencils now? Well, what I can tell you is that you don't have any of the stencils I'm working with because they are brand new from the Crafters Workshop. Brand new. Layering stencils for that kind of price, that value, that's a yes please. And we're gonna take those stencils that they did at the Crafters Workshop and we are going to BAM them up. We're going to stacy them with a little help, okay, a lot of help, from Ozzy Andrew and his new little foiling pen. Cut them out. Snip, snip, snip. Mat them on whatever you want to mat them on to and add them to anything. I love that Jamie gave you so many different sentiments with her stencils. You can take that. I could take my hello. just mat it on some paper and add it there. Oh, love, love, love. I could cut this one down. So I thought the pin at the 40 plus dollars, oh, I got a little tight there, Stacy. Oh, too tight. Oh well, I thought the, the stylus at 40 plus dollars was a bit much. So we're gonna do it for $29.99. And cause I think that's a price, Ozzy Andrew doesn't know we're gonna do it for that price, but he does now. Cause I think that's a price that still may be a stretch for some of you, but is at least in a realm of possibility. Right? So cute and it's all foiled. You guys, you've got this. You can so do this.
And when you want, oh, I've made a mess. Okay, let me pull this one. Gosh, I could even take, I could even take the shine on. Okay, let's just do that really quick. I know, I know it's a long time, but it's, you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna do it, you're gonna do it right, right? So I'm gonna put these over here so we don't lose those. And we'll not lose this one. I lost my hello already. Did you see where I put, oh, I found it, thanks. <laughs> let's take that shine on. And what color can we use with it? So I've already got it. Let's, so let's tape this on down. Is that something visible for you guys to see? I'm still learning a new camera placement. So shine on. Down, down, down. Is that visible? Crinkle, 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 throw away. And this one I'm just going to tape on down. What if I slightly offset it? Are you willing to try something we haven't done, I haven't played with before? What if I slightly offset it? And I just do the big ones. So let's get this taped down so I can add. So let's just do it. I'm gonna try and do like a little shadow. I think that looks good. Let's put this down. So I can make my little hinge. I've got my shine on right there and I am slightly offset, which means I can see some of my white. Can you see that? Am I close enough? Am I too close? And then let's add some gold. And I certainly don't need a big piece. So I just wanted you to see that I've got white showing through. I'm gonna try and do an offset. Mm, that looks very close. I need to be more offset. right there. It might not work at all. I might just trash this whole thing, but it's only white paper and I am willing to give it a try. All right, so I'm going to take my stylus and which way is my, oh, that's a good thing to know. Which way is my offset? It's forward. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this H part a little bit. And this N part a little bit. And this S part. Inside of that, N and the uh and the that one and that one. All right, let's see if I can get that done. So the N, okay, so the N and the inside. So the N and then. The 
inside. Oh, I've got it. I think I've got it. I can do a little bit on the E. I think I've got it. Look at how cute is that? Oh, too close, too close, too close, too close. And then when you move it, it just kind of shines at you. Just a little bit of a shadow. <gasps> I love it on the end. <laughs> oh, that end looks amazing. Okay, you can do this. Practice a little, this was freehand. This was, um, had no idea if that was gonna work or not, but why not? And I love it. It doesn't take away from anything. You've got the filament that's shiny. You've got some of the little beads that are shiny. Options aplenty with my cute little pen. Let me go back, I'm still really close. Now, how do you change your, how do you change your little nibs? I just take some tweezers and it pulls out and then I put it back in. There are four different sizes. Just take your tweezers, pull out, it's hot. So, and then I push it back on in and then I'm good to go. How do you know if it's working? Well, it's green when it's good. When something's off, it's off. And when you turn it back on, it's going to be red for a little bit because it's thinking it has to warm up again. But all you gotta do is put those little tweezers in there, the four different nibs. I like the smallest one the best because I get to do all the detail work. And it just comes out amazing. This makes my heart happy. We've got the foils from Ozzy Andrew at a value price, but I'm only doing like the 12 colors. Any colors that are on our site um, that have a GGG behind them, that means they're going, going, gone, and when they're gone, they're gone. So if we have a few more colors than 12, that means I still have stock of those colors left here. And we're gonna get, when they're gone, they're gone. So cute. That cut left something to be desired. you. <laughs> okay, so this is a global launch. A global launch of Ozzy Andrews new foiling pin. Four nibs. USB pen. Foil to get you started. Like you don't already have foil. <laughs> what I said like they don't already have foil $29.99 nowhere near what he what the everybody else is going to retail it at we just want you to have it we're willing to not make a lot of money off of it because I think it's a tool that you will love when you get it and it's something that you can use again and again and again and just add I mean I've never been able to add accents like that to anything not that fine, not that detailed, not even with, with um, my glue, you know? It, this, is, this is rock star. And certainly 
not being able to do words. Think of all the stencils you've got. Wah ha ha ha. So Ozzy Andrew, ooh, I love that one. Ozzy Andrews, brand new foiling pen. And if that didn't float your boat, then holy smokes artichokes. We have got brand new from the Crafters Workshop. And I love how they've done them. I like them on a single. I wished I had been that smart to do it. I'm keeping my tabs. I'm keeping my three as three separates and my tabs to go around them. But this is bang for your buck. And the fact that they're putting the pretty colored picture on the front. So you have a reference right there, right in front of you, I think is stellar. I think they did a great job. I think it's a benefit for everybody. And I, I gosh, we have, we have seven, I think that are in the I Want It All bundle, but I'll, let me show you, I'll get there. So we started, we started the day with just, where's that other stencil of mine? With just stenciling, don't know where I put it, but anybody see where I did with that other piece of paper that had my other, my other pretty stencil on it? Not that one, not that one. Well, how far could it have gone? Really? Hello. No, not there. Not there. Wait, 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 wait. This one. Oh, here it is. Found it. <laughs> so we started just stenciling. And the first thing we did was we stenciled with just three colors. Kept it very simple. Then we stenciled blending some of the colors to maybe just entice you just a little bit more to get adventurous, to try to play two colors together or, or do an ombre and see how that works for you just to give you a hint of, hey, you can do that, absolutely. Then we went back and we started to foil and add that foil just to make everything wink and shine. And you can add as much or as little as you want. If it were me, and just because it was so darn relaxing for me, I'd sit there and I'd wanna foil almost everything. I might even try to do the whole stencil in foil. I even love how we did the shine on to give a little bit of a shadow to that. Okay, so we kept it fun, we kept it easy. It's, it's something that every age group can do, every level of crafter can do. Let me show you ooh, what is on sale. Okay, so let's talk what's on sale. So first things first, um, I've got, these are the featured items. So these are, I'm gonna make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, these are the seven that'll be in the I Want It All bundle. Now you can get them open stock, absolutely. If you just love this one and wait till you see the samples, you're just gonna love them all. But for the price, holy smokes. So there's one that's in the I Want It All, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these are the ones that are gonna come in the seven pack. Ta-da! <laughs> All bundled for you. Compliments of the Crafters Workshop. They're doing the bundling for us. Yay. I don't know why I didn't have manufacturers do my bundling a long time ago. I have learned my lesson. Now, yay, they do it because they have, look at, they have the capability. This is heat sealed. <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> I don't have that kind of capability, but yay. So those are your seven. They're gonna be at a value price. And then they sent me a few things that they thought you might like in addition to, and these are just gonna be open stock. So this is a whole snow globe set of stencils, layering, and then your, 
your additional stamps if you wanted to add to it. The pine. Look at how pretty are these. Love the new, I like the, I like the bigger, I like the big, I like this over that in packaging, just if I get to have a say, because the sample here is a little small. Poinsettia. So these will all be a part of the YouTube yummies. So they'll all qualify for an expedite. The little truck. Look at, see, I like this packaging much better. Wahoo, kachoo. So those are upsell items. Meaning, if you like them, great, but they're not part of the feature. <laughs> then, okay, then I have the foiling pen. And I have the colors of foils. that we will be doing and carrying forward on a value price. Now, Ozzy Andrew has very, you know, some of these he only has 100 left and it will be some time before he's able to restock. So if we sell out, I will not be able to add them back into our system until he gets them back in. Let's see if I can do this. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Now, if I push too hard, one of them's going to come out the, the middle. <laughs> Look at that. So this is all part of the YouTube yummies. There is not... Hmm, should I do an I wanted all of these colors? We don't have equal amounts. That makes it really hard. I'm not going to do an I want it all because some of these we have so few of. Not that we want it that way or Ozzy Andrew wants it that way, but it just is what it is. He has to wait till his next order comes in and then we'll have more. So I'm not going to do an I want it all on these because some of them we have, I think on the silver, there's a silver somewhere where we've got like, you know, 300 and then there's one of these where there's literally 75. So we'll just do them open stock, but at a value price. Oh my gosh. Okay, are you ready to see samples? Um, when I say we have lots of samples to show you, that is an understatement. Okay, I love this one. Now, how was this done? This was done with a background. Let's see. Okay, so this was done with this stencil. The fourth stencil is a dotty background. That's all it is, is a dotty background. And we took, meaning Honorary SMS Girl Katie took the dots and she just kept moving them around. She took that fourth layer and just kept moving them around. And then this came from the lights. And look at happy day. She's got that stencil or that foiled as well. Love that sample. Ooh, I've got lots of them. Here we have, here we have the lights. Still can see you. Here we have the lights. And we added just a little bit of foil to them. And look at this one. Claire was like, whoa. So there's the dotties that go with the um, with that stencil I just showed you. It, this is the stencil. So here's the stencil and here's the finish. Claire went with the foil and outlined all the little dots. Took her like two minutes to do it. Not even that. It was super fast, super easy. And I don't know if my camera catches, but every little dot has a foil outline around it. Hello, so darling. Here we've taken and we just did a foil outline on one side of the fence to give just a little depth. Oh, and she added a little foil into the centers of the... Right? Cute. Hello. I think I can go in and up. 
Hello. Oh, shaky, shaky, shaky. Still trying to learn the placement of my camera. And this one I played with. And I put foil around the outside. I just traced the outside of the, because the stencil has it, and I added the hello. The stencil has a mask that lets you cover the entire thing up, letting you do a beautiful sunset or whatever you wanted to do. And then I just took that same stencil that masked all of this off and I just went around it adding that gold detail all the way around my cityscape. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, here's another cityscape. And we did the windows. So some of the windows might be winking at you and they're done in foils. The thinking of you was done with foil and the stencil. Man, that stylus pen, all of a sudden, now that you can do words like this in foil, if that's the only thing you use it for, when you use sten you go grab your stencils, you could even, well, that would be harder. I was thinking you could even stamp. I'm going to figure that out. I've got an idea. We're going to figure that out. I think I figured it out. Okay, that's a whole nother YouTube. I'm back to back, back to this one. <laughs> oh my gosh, I had a thought. Look at just some of the little red houses have a little bit of foil on them on the roofs. How pretty. Here you have sore and some foil going on. So the Crafters Workshop sent samples and we made samples and we went through, look at this one. We look at the foiling on that, wahoo. We went through and we kind of tweaked some of their samples. I asked permission first. Usually I don't. Usually I ask forgiveness, but um, but this time I asked permission first if I could modify some of the samples. And I was told yes. And then I texted back, remember, I asked. <laughs> so we foiled quite a few of their samples and then we made our samples. Love this one. See the foil? Love this one. I love how the words are incorporated into the stem. And here. So we took the we took the um the stencils that have the sunflowers. This is how it's supposed to be done. But we just manipulated the stencil and just kept going around and around and around to make it into a border. And then we foiled the grateful. Sure, why not? You don't have to do them exactly the way they're supposed to be done. You can start that way, but then you can start figuring out how else you can use them. I have oodles of samples. This might be the most samples because my girls had a great time. And then we had from the crafters workshop. This is the one I started foiling. This was my play one when I wanted to see if it would work. And the girls finished it. <laughs> oh, my play one. Okay, Ozzy Andrew from Couture Creations. What do you think of what we did with your hot foil pen? Look at all these samples.
oodles and oodles. So we have that one, but then we have this one where we did the shine on in foil and just free handed cut it out. Ooh, look at that. Isn't that nice? Mm hmm. All right, my last, I've got one more group of, of samples to show you. One more grouping. Hello, love. So the hello and the love was done with a stencil and the foils. That's so pretty. This one was done in, with embossing powders. Pretty, right? Here we've gone in and we added foil to the sunflowers. Little bit of foil accents on those sunflowers. Uh-huh, try and do that any other way except for that stylus. I don't think so. Those lines are so perfect and so fine. Love. Added a little bit of bling. And then look at this one. This one was done with embossing powder too. This is one of the stencils that's in the I Want It All. The Hello was foiled. Are we loving these? Have you seen enough? Should I stop? I've got more. <laughs> Look at that. And then here. That way, not using the other part of the stencil because there's the part that comes in and out. And then we went back and did all the green. I don't know if my camera can pick it up, but there's green foil underneath like all the little windows. They almost look like window seals. So cool. So cool. A little bit of foil on the on the dragonflies. Foil on the filaments. Oh, she did what I did. She put it down the, she finished hers. <laughs> Great minds think alike. Foil on some of the flowers. I don't know. These were fun. They were easy. They're affordable. And any level of crafter can do these. It's meant for everybody. Whether you are just going to start with the stenciling and do the layered stenciling. I mean, come on, layered stenciling for that kind of price? Hello? Who does that? <laughs> the Crafters Workshop does that. But who does it? I'm like, yes sign me up and then let me help tell you which designs we want to start with. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> so for Ozzy Andrews hot foiling pen, it's exclusive here at Scrapbooking Made Simple right now. Did I turn that? Oh, I didn't turn that bad boy off. <laughs> it's exclusive to Scrapbooking Made Simple right now. We are bringing it out at $29.99 not the $44-ish that, that it's going to retail for. So if it's something you think you like, buy it because then eventually it's going to have to go up in price. It does work off of a USB. So if you've got your laptop, your iPad, your or whatever your pad is, uh, um, I don't know, uh, tablet, <laughs> a regular computer, there you go. No batteries required. Um, then we've got all of the stencils from the crafters workshop. So between that and then the foils and I mean, the, the stencils are a global launch here from the crafters workshop. And I just hope that if anything else, you learned something new today that you didn't know before, 
If that's all that's happened today, then I, I feel that I have done my job, that I have taught you something that you, you didn't know or showed you something you hadn't seen or maybe got your mind thinking, because my mind was thinking. As, I, as we were doing this, I'm like, hum, I can take that pen and I think I have a whole nother idea for how to use that pen. It's a whole nother YouTube. <laughs> Yay! All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. Scrapbooking Made Simple, scrapbookingmadesimple.com. Normally, we say go get it at your local independent retailer, but for some of this product, it's exclusive here for a little bit. But if you have stencils at a local retailer and you want to go look at theirs to see if there's something that's going to float your boat and make your heart happy, go for it. Visit your local independent retailer. Tell them Stacy from Scrapbooking Made Simple sent you and say we are we are small and independent and strong, all of us when we stick together. All right, you guys, I will see you next week. I hope you had a great time. And until then, bye. <laughs> and nothing fell on me, not even a house. <laughs> <laughs>